Hi Ralph, uh, congratulations. Was that first half the best your team's done since you came to the club? Well, I would say offensively, yes. Um, defensively, whenever we had the ball in their half, we made a lot of those things that we had intended to do. Um, um, finding the right spots, the right places, the right spaces, uh, taking on players in one-on-one -on -one situations. Um, after the first goal we scored, we had control on the game in the first half, but then we gave away one goal. Um, so whenever the ball was in our half, there is still some space for improvement. But offensively, I agree that was so far the best performance. Ben Ronson. Hi, Ralph. Um, Scott McTominay's performance um, was very impressive tonight, playing a little bit further forward. Um, is that something you've asked him to do? Uh, to see, to see some has been for most of the season, but he certainly looked as though he was trying to affect it in the uh, attacking third a little bit more. I mean, we only decided this afternoon at two o'clock that he will play because he still had some problems with his ankle, with the contusion injury that he suffered at, at Newcastle. So it was good to have him in the, in, in, available and in the team. Um, at half time, our team doctor told me that he will be struggling in the second half with regard to the pain level of pain. So it was very important to have him in the team. And in the end, he could play for the whole 92 minutes, 93 minutes. Um, very important player for us today. We played in a 4-4-2 defensively and in a 4-2-4 offensively, and therefore it was important to have him and Nemanja as the two sixes staying uh, and playing next to each other. Sam Lockhurst. Hi, oh, Ralph. You made six changes tonight. How do you assess the performances of the players who came here? Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't understand. You made six changes. How do you yeah. assess the okay. players who came here? Yes, it was about fresh legs, fresh energy, fresh bodies, um, more physicality against this team. I mean, we knew how difficult they would be, how persistent they would play. Um, and it was a little bit of a war of attrition, a little bit of a difficult one to play. And therefore, it was for me important to have fresh players, uh, six fresh players on the pitch compared to the game at Newcastle. And I think in the end it paid off. It was the right players in the right positions. For me, it was important to have every player on his best possible position. That, that's why we decided to play Jaden from the left and Mason from the right and the two strikers up front. And we decided to play um, to play with uh, um, the two sixes as they did, uh, to, to have Nemanja in the team as a sort of a quarterback player who can also calm the game down and play the passes from that position. And um, yeah, and Scotty again. I mean, his energy on the pitch is contagious in a positive way, and um, yeah, that was um, a, an extremely good performance by Scotty today. Mike McGrath. Hi, Ralph. Um, Scott talked about uh, how you told the players that you want their body language much better this week. Just in your opinion, why is that so important to you? Um, as well as their performances, and um, what, what exactly was your message to them? I mean, in, in, in team sports, it's always important that you are convinced about what you're doing. And uh, of course, at Newcastle, it was a difficult game for us. We were 1-0 down after seven minutes. And um, and they and they did well. We didn't play well, especially in the first half at Newcastle. And therefore, it's the reaction to what's happening on the pitch is the question: How do we react to this? Do we fight back? Do we show them that we are still a team that we believe in us? And or do we shake heads or do this and that? This kind of things only help the other team and uh, it does damage to our own team. And therefore. For me, it was clear to to tell them, listen, it's it's important that we behave and work as a team, and that we don't show these kind of side effects on the pitch. Brad Cox. Hi, Ralph. Uh, Bay went off injured in the second half, and obviously Lindelof's recovering from COVID. Is there any issues um, with defensive um, selections for the Wolves game? Is that something you're a bit scared of? Well, in the first instance, I hope that Victor could be back by then. Um, under normal circumstances, uh, uh, if the next test is negative, uh, um, the next COVID test is negative, the PCR test, I think he should be able to come back again for this game. 
he has no symptoms, so therefore he shouldn't have any physical problems um, for that game. Eric uh, had already left actually uh, four days ago for the African Cup of Nations, but he was still in Spain, so we asked him to come back, and I think he did well. Um, apart from the mistake he made before the goal that we conceded today, I think it was a very good performance by Eric, very concentrated, very focused. Um, yes, and with um, um, with Rafa, it was just. I was thinking about playing him today, but uh, last time that happened, uh, after his uh, muscle injury, he was then out for another couple of weeks, so we just didn't want to make the same mistake again, and that's why I decided to have him on the bench first. Rob Dawson? Uh, hi, Rolf. Um, in the two games this season that, that Eddington and Cristiano have started together, the team has scored three times in each of those games. Um, Obviously, they work quite well together, or seem to. But given their ages, is that is it going to be quite tough to pick and choose the moments when you play them together, and, and you'll have to manage them quite carefully? Yes, but it's still important to have those two players on board and the work ethic that they showed. Both of them showed today, together with uh, Mason and Jaden, was highly important. They had to do a lot of negative runs. I mean, just for the team to make sure that we keep them away as often as possible from our own box. And this had to start with the, the four up front. We we had the probably most offensive possible formation today, uh, and therefore it's important if you play with such an offensive formation and lineup that they work together defensively and that they have a defensive uh, work ethic. And that was the case with both of them, Cristiano and uh, Eddie. They, they 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 did a lot for the team against the ball today. And uh, yeah, we will see. I mean, we have uh, Bruno back against Wolves. Um, and quite a few other options. Uh, Rashi didn't play today. Um, so up front, we have uh, enough, enough other alternatives uh, that we could play with.